In the beginning of relationships, narcissists will start planting seeds of doubt in the minds of people both of you know, especially your friends and family and their friends and family. Narcissists start by charming people in both fear circles so they will be in their good graces and appear to be the, the good guy. They will show you off to their friends and family and appear to be very attentive to you and considerate of your needs. Over time, you notice that their friends treat you like you're the bad person and take the narcissist side no matter if they know what's happening to you is wrong or not. Before we dive deeper into the details, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe so you can help spread awareness about the horrors of narcissistic abuse. These videos can help people learn the signs so they're able to get out safely. It's important to spread awareness because it saves lives. Narcissists like to test people to see who they can ma manipulate or take something from, whether it be energy, love, sex, money, or anything else. They appear to be almost perfect when they first meet your loved ones. What happens is, they will slowly start to tell them things to gaslight them. Late, later on, others will believe that you're the one who's causing problems. If you're being put in a real tough spot and they involve others into your relationship and problems, their friends will help them to sabotage you because they were manipulated and fed lies about you so that they will carry out the duties of the narcissist. When you need support and understanding the most, this is when the narcissist lies to other pe people about you the most. You'll be accused of everything the narcissist does and punished for every little mistake or for expressing your pain and how you're being mistreated by the narcissist and their friends. They don't care about how it makes you feel. They don't care about your emotions or feelings in the slightest because it doesn't matter to them and they will tell you this. They don't care because that would mean taking accountability and ensuring you're being respected by the narcissist and the people they involve in your issues. A narcissist will put you in harm's way, even for the slightest discomfort or annoyance, and will lash out and degrade you, especially in front of others. If their loved ones are disrespectful to you, they'll let it happen and won't stand up for you. After all, after all you're the one with the problems in the narcissist's eyes. If you refuse to do something because you feel unsafe, the narcissist flying monkeys will still treat you badly and help the narcissist with whatever, knowing you're being put in an unsafe situation and will justify the narcissist's words and actions, even if you can prove they're completely wrong. Flying monkeys have narcissistic traits themselves and enjoy bullying people. They also are more likely to be gossipers and manipulators. Some really thrive on drama and will want to be part of your problems, and will even offer to help you. The truth is, narcissists help, or narciss narcissists keep these toxic people around so they can use them when they need them. Flying monkeys are used when narcissists can't control their victims, so they need some aid in order to be able to control themselves. To further gaslight the victims into thinking they're the problem, they're followers who can't think for themselves, so they reflect what other people say. They're basically parroting the narcissist. A narcissist wants the flying monkeys to help paint themselves in an image of light and rewrite stories so the narcissist can be seen however they want to be seen and the victim can destroy you and everything that you have worked for. Flying monkeys are insecure and eager to please the narcissist because they will get breadcrumbs of whatever void they're trying to fill. They're also great at gaslighting and being involved in gossip to make the narcissist happy. These people will even create more problems than you had to start with, which the narcissist can use against you later on as well. The narcissist may even defend the flying monkey, even though they help sabotage your relationship and success but you're the one to blame for all of it, even if you sincere, sincerely didn't do any wrongs. The process is called gaslighting by, by proxy, which can include groups and individual people. A flying monkey will remind you of all the great things the narcissist has done for you and has no issues belittling you because of the lies the narcissist told them. They'll defend the narcissist, even if you have evidence. The flying monkeys only do this because they get some kind of benefit, whether it's money, sex, affection, etc. They want the victim to suck it up and move on so that way they can benefit off the narcissist and essentially getting you out of the way. 
it can be very difficult when a narcissist spews lies to people in your lives because victims feel as though they don't have a support system or a way out. Flying monkeys are miserable people who operate on lower states of energy, so they rely on the narcissist for validation because flying monkeys themselves are more than likely narcissists themselves. Normal people just don't go around trying to hurt others. They can either intentionally or unintentionally cause you harm. It can be hard for some flying monkeys to notice that they're being used to do a narcissist bidding, or they may know exactly what's going on and simply don't care. People who are miserable like bringing people down just so they feel better about themselves. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to learn more about the depths of narcissism so you can get support for yourself and help save others. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.